So uh, people have different goals in AI um, for things they want the system to do. Um, and we need to, uh, it's important to learn these different terms um, so that you can understand where people are coming from when you talk with them about AI. Um, some people are, when they say artificial intelligence, they mean something that I'll call cognitive modeling. And that means we're going to build an artificial brain. It's going to behave like a person does. Um, people make mistakes. I don't know if you've noticed. I've noticed that about myself. <laughs> I make lots of mistakes. Um, and so presumably, if you, if you are a good cognitive modeler, you will build a system that makes mistakes just the way people do. It's very interesting. People make certain kinds of mistakes. And there's an entire field called cognitive psychology where people study what people do um, and how their minds might work. And uh, I even dabbled in it for a little while. And it's fun and incredibly hard because people are extremely complicated. Um, so we're not going to talk that much about cognitive modeling in this class because cognitive modeling really is best seen as part of psychology. Like those are people who are trying to figure out how humans work and they're expressing their ideas about how humans work by writing programs. Like physicists express their ideas about how the universe works by writing down a few mathematical equations. Psychologists express their views about how the mind processes information by writing down programs. So there are plenty of people who call themselves AI folks who are doing cognitive modeling. Now there are other people who are doing AI who are really just doing engineering. These are the people who build like autopilots. Like I'm going to build a system, flies a plane really well. I don't care if it's the same way that people fly the plane. In fact, I kind of hope it's not. I hope it's better. I hope it makes zero mistakes. I'm going to make the best system I can to fly the plane. And if it works like a person, great. And if it doesn't, I don't care. I just want it to be the best it can be. So that's a very engineering, problem-solving kind of approach to, to AI. Um, so uh, there's been a lot of work on self-driving cars recently. Uh, it's been in the news a lot. Uh, I'll probably show video clips uh, later in the semester. Um, people who are doing that, they don't give anything about how people drive, right? They're just trying to make a car that does not crash, right? The best job they can, they can do. Um, and it's, it's got to actually work, right? They have to be able to build it now. Um, there's another kind of AI that investigates, like, intelligence with a capital I. Like, what is the intelligent thing to do, the perfectly rational thing to do? What is the perfect way to drive the car? Like, I don't care if you can't build it. I, I'm just going to, we're going to study the abstract concept of intelligence and how, what the perfect thing would be. Um, so that's often also called normative rationality. Normative means, like, the way it should be, not the way it is, but normative, like norms, like social norms or, or rules or, or guidelines. Um, normative rationality is perfect behavior. And this is usually, um, unfortunately, uh, completely impossible. So if you took the algorithms class, for example, you know that there are certain problems that are intractable, NP complete problems, um, or even harder, they're P space complete problems, where you just, it's just too expensive to compute the answer for any interesting <laughs> form of the problem. Uh, a lot of AI problems are like this, like chess, for example, like to find the perfect moves in chess, uh, it's just too big a problem. The uh, chess board, uh, typically, my understanding is, I'm not a big chess player, but my understanding is on your typical chess board, there are typically about 14 moves available to you at any one time, 15 diff 14 different moves you can make, and then your opponent will move, and then there'll be another 14 moves you can make. Right? And then your opponent will make a move. There are another 14 moves you can make. So for each of those 14 moves, um, one possible line of play will then lead to 14 more moves you make. So if we want to look at the total number of possible states of the chessboard, a typical chess game is like 40 moves. So it's 14 moves times another 14 possibilities times another 14 all the way to 40 times. So 14 to the 40 is a like, whoppingly huge number. So um, nobody's going to write down that entire tree of possible chess games and find the optimal move to make at the very first move. Like, it's just intractable. So if you're interested in, in normative rationality, then um, that's an interesting project to study. If you're interested in engineering, it's completely crazy. Um, we'll talk a little bit about some of this stuff. This is the stuff I'm most interested in, is something that's as close to rational as we can get while actually being buildable. <laughs> and actually working. Um, 
So that's so. What's the class about? Oh, oh, not any of that. Um, uh, this I saw. This is a, like a, a quote from a, a, an artist that I saw was reading the other day. Um, this particular pattern of molecules known as a human being has evolved an amazing depth of consciousness, an ability to internally model the reality beyond the senses, to imagine futures that have never happened, to use language, to use rationality, to build and test theories about our universe, to become self-aware. And I, I love this quote because a lot of these things are things we're actually going to study in the class. So the ability to model reality um, Beyond, the, beyond what you can immediately sense, uh, to imagine futures that never happen, that's planning. Right? This is learning, this is planning. Language, unfortunately, we're not going to cover. Um, using rationality to test theories about how the world works, we're going to cover that. Uh, it's called uh, unsupervised learning. Self-awareness, we're not going to cover that so much. Um, but anyway, we're going to cover a lot of what's in that quote. 